Hi, welcome to NSD installation video. NSD can be installed from all-in-one bundle or by installing individual plugins on Eclipse with CDD. In this video, I will be showing how to install NSD from all-in-one bundle and then follow it up with installation of NSD plugins on NSD with CDD. The prerequisite for installation of NSD are Java, Cross Compilers, SQL Preprocessor, Sigwin or MSYS. NSG supports both 32-bit and 64-bit of Java 6 and 7. After installing Java Runtime Environment, we will set the path environment variable for java.exe. To set the environment variable, right-click the computer icon from desktop and select Properties from the context menu. Select Advanced System Setting link and go to Advanced tab. Here, click on the environment variable. In system variable section, find path environment variable and verify whether the Java bin locations has been set. Path environment variable should not be set to java.exe available in Windows folder. Sigwin does not recognize this java.exe while building non-stop application. NSD requires cross compilers and SQL preprocessor for building non stop applications on Windows. They should be installed at the default locations to be detected automatically by NSD. SQL processes are required only if the non stop applications has a SQL program to be compiled. Local Windows hosted builds require a make program. This can be either a SIGWIN or MSYS. NSD detects them automatically if they are installed in C colon. After installing all the prerequisite software, we will now install NSD all in one bundle. Right click the zip file and select Extract to Eclipse Standard Kepler. SR2 NSD Win32 from the context menu. Now double click eclipse.exe to launch NSD application. Provide a workspace location and click OK. To verify the versions of NSD installed, go to the help menu and select about Eclipse menu item. Here you will find the details of all the plugins installed in NSDEE. When you launch NSD for the first time, you are greeted by a welcome screen. Close this welcome screen and go to the Java perspective. To develop non-stop applications, we have to open the non-stop development perspective. Go to the Windows menu and click Open Perspective. Here select Other menu item. Select Non-stop Development Perspective and click OK. In case we are extracting NSD to a location whose path or folder name is longer than 260 character, then we will get an error saying that the path is too long. To avoid this scenario, extract it to a shorter path or folder name. Now I will show you how to install NSD plugins on a standalone Eclipse with CDT. Now I will be showing you how to install NSD plugin on an Eclipse that has only CDT installed on it. Click Eclipse.exe to start a new instance. To install NSD plugins, click Help menu from the toolbar. Select Install new software from menu item. In the Install wizard, select Add button to open the repository dialog box. In the repository dialog box, select the Archive button to open a file browser. Here, 
navigate to the location of NSD installation media and select nsd.co.zip. Repeat the above process to add NSD debug, CDT core, and CDT debug files. After adding all the NSD plugins through the repository dialog box, select only local sites from the combo box. Now click the select all button to select all the plugins to be installed and click next button to go to the next window. Go through the license agreement before accepting the license agreement and proceeding with the installation. Once NSD plugin has been installed, restart Eclipse. So we have successfully installed NSD plugins on an existing Eclipse with CDT installations. With this, we come to the end of this video. Watch out for more video on NSD. Thank you.